Good morning, guys, and happy Saturday. I have not been posting on YouTube at all recently. I actually feel like it's been at least a month that I haven't posted, which is so bad, and I really miss posting. So I have a jam-packed weekend, so I thought I might as well get back on the YouTube grind and film my weekend and just make a little weekend vlog. So I am currently at the gym now. I'm about to go do a ceremony class at Les Mills. And then after that, I'm going to go pick up some photos that I got printed for something cool I got planned tonight which I'll take you along to. But yeah, I am running late. My gym class is starting in less than five minutes. So I'm gonna go do my gym class and then I'll catch back in with you and explain what I've got planned for this weekend because it's very exciting and very full of things. I'm just very busy. Anyway, I'm gonna go now so I'm not late to my class. Okay guys, so I've just finished up at Les Mills ceremony class and wow, that workout was so intense. I was literally dripping with sweat but it was a really good workout and a nice way to start off my Saturday. But now I'm gonna head into Tank in the city to grab some breakfast because I'm my stomach is empty, I haven't eaten anything except for some pre-workout and a coffee, which is a lot of caffeine. So I'm going to go grab breakfast and then we'll head to our next location. We ended up going to West End Stories in town instead because Tank was closed and they weren't opening until 9.30 and we didn't want to wait around for 20 minutes so we ended up walking to West End Stories and now we're going to go walk around Higley Park just to get some steps in but I got the banana and honey smoothie and Matt got the what Tropical Warrior? Oh, mango Madness. Oh the Mango Madness, it is really good so as Per usual, we're going Taylor style and we pick two different flavors and we're gonna share half half because I'm indecisive and I love trying multiple things. So I'm gonna enjoy our smoothies and go for a little walk. Meg has now left me, so now I can actually tell you what my plan is for today and tonight so i'm at harvey norman now and that is because i'm picking up some photos that i'm getting printed so on wednesday the 6th of march is max 25th birthday but i've decided that i'm going to plan a surprise little birthday celebration for him tonight with myself and all of his friends however obviously it's a surprise so all he knows is that i'm taking him out for dinner at 7 p.m i told him to be ready at 6 30 i'll pick you up and we're going out for dinner but actually i'm gonna take him to bowling and all of his friends will be there and then after that we're going to head to his best mate's house and i am going to have some drinks there and some nibbles for everyone but i'm also going to have decorated the house with black and silver themed decor. The other day I went to Look Shop and bought a whole lot of black and silver balloons, black and silver string for the balloons, a whole lot of stuff. I might as well not explain it all now. I will show you a little haul later of what I picked up the other day. And then this afternoon I will go over to his mate's flat set all the balloons and decor up and i'm also gonna make a carrot cake with like a cream cheese icing that is enough rambling from me let's head into harvey norman now and pick up the photos that i ordered yesterday but i'm also going to get his birthday present from here i'm spending a little bit of money on his birthday i'm gonna treat him to some apple airpod pros let's head in there now I'm back from Harvey Norman and as you would have seen I got him the AirPods Pro Generation 2 which I'm so jealous because currently I have just the normal AirPods and one of them has stopped working so I am in need of headphones as well and I really want these because they're noise cancelling and then I also picked up these photos that I ordered yesterday online and I got Oh, a total of 19 photos and I'm gonna have these 
hanging from the helium balloons that I've purchased. Yeah, I got them all in black and white and I basically asked everyone to send me through some photos with Mac and I can add them. Look how cute. I can just hole punch them and then hang them from the balloons. I just thought that would be so cute. I don't know if I'll hang them all on the balloons, but I thought I might as well have quite a few to choose from. And then while we're here, I thought I would also give you a quick haul of what I purchased at Look Sharp the other day because I didn't film that. But basically, what I got from Look Sharp was a whole lot of stuff. I got some metallic silver balloons. I got a 20 pack of that and then I also got a 20 pack of just some black balloons. I then got some ribbon rolls to go onto the helium balloons in both black and silver. I then also got a 25, so a two and a five. And these are jumbo letters, I'm pretty sure. So they should be pretty big. And then I also got this birthday card from Typo, which I thought was really cool. Um, it says, bit weird, we're celebrating when your mum shagged your dad. So that's quite funny. Um, Typo have really good cards there. So if you're ever in need of any type of card for any type of event or celebration, then head to Typo. And then I also got from Look Sharp this big circle balloon that says happy birthday to you and it's the most manly sort of one they had there and the one that fit my theme the most and then I also picked up this silver chromey box which his present will go in. I know it's extremely large but I thought I would put his AirPods in here and then fill the whole box up with tissue paper and then I also got his favourite wine which I'll pop that in there so he can drink that tonight as well. And then the last and final thing I got was from Kmart and I picked up this jumbo helium tank which apparently will inflate around 50 helium balloons so I thought I would grab that from Kmart and that was $85 I thought it would save me a lot of money because I did plan and decorate a hen's do last weekend and I think I had I had a total of 20 balloons and I got all of those 20 balloons filled with helium at look sharp and that cost me nearing I think maybe $75, $80 to fill 20 balloons. So it will cost me the same amount of money to fill 50 balloons if I do it myself. So that is the plan. But before I clock out, I thought I would give you some photo inspo that I'm following so you get the type of vibe I'm trying to achieve. This is sort of the theme I'm sort of going for, black and silver like that and I'll have like 25 somewhere in the room. The only thing I didn't find at Look Sharp was like happy birthday signs, but I'm sure it'll be fine. And yeah, and then in this photo they have hanging roses, but instead of that, I'm going to have the hanging photos. So I'll have the black and silver balloons heliums with the black and silver string hanging from them. And then attached to the string, will be all of these black and white photos that I got from Harvey Norman. The last thing I'll show you is what I'm doing with the box. So I'm planning on recreating this, which is what Mac did for my Valentine's Day. So I'll have the silver box that I got from Look Sharp. I'll then have two black and two silver balloons there. And then up the top, obviously, instead of the Valentine's Day balloon, I will have this one. That is it. I will leave you here and I will check back in with you when I go to make his cake. 
Okay guys, so I've had a shower, washed my hair, so my hair will be nice and fresh for tonight. I've also had some lunch and gotten change. And now it's time to head out again. I'm gonna go to Noel Leeming and PB Tech maybe. I wanna have a look at some hard drives because my current hard drive that I use is playing up. The port itself is stuffed and it's, yeah, it's just not working fast enough. So I'm gonna go look for another hard drive which is high in storage and works fast. But I thought before I do that, I'll give you a quick OOTD. So starting off with the bottoms, I have my Elias May Brown sandals, which I got from Suprete. I then have my sort of olivey green dress from Beckham Bridge, which I also got from Suprete. I then have my Deadly Ponies handbag, my... Pasco's little love heart necklace, my Apple Watch, my Stuart Dawson hoops, my Fendi sunglasses from Sisters of Co. And yeah, this is the fit. Perfect. Okay, let's head to town. Okay guys, so I'm back from PB Tech and I didn't end up getting an SD card. I mean, I didn't end up getting a hard drive. I ended up getting an SD card instead because the hard drive jargon just really got to me and I was just very, very confused. So I'm gonna do some further research into that before I go ahead and buy one. But anyway, I'm back now and we're gonna make a carrot cake with cream cheese icing. And then I got this cake topper and black candles to go on the top and Mum is kindly going to help me do it because I'm a bit under time pressure at the moment. So let's start baking. I've just pulled up at Max friend's house. I didn't even get time to show you the finished cake. I haven't even put the icing on it, haven't put the candles, the topper, nothing on it. I literally was in such a rush, which is something I'm so bad at. I'm always running late to everything. <sighs> I'm so stressed, but anyway. I've got everything except the photos. My mum just messaged me as I pulled up here saying that I forgot the photos that were hanging, that are gonna be hanging from the balloons. So she's going to come and drop that off. But anyway, I'm gonna head inside now and start blowing up all the balloons, putting all the string on the balloons and then decorate the cake. And then hopefully by that time, she has arrived with the photos to add onto the string. And then hopefully that's all done by 6.30 when I have to go pick up Mac to take him to dinner. Let's head into Jazz's house now and start setting up. So we've finally finished setting up the surprise party. So we have done this. This is what it's looking like. It's got black and silver balloons up the top. And then we have floating um, black and white photos. We've got 19 spread out, spread out around the room. And then as he walks in, he will see this 25 balloon with a carrot cake with the black sort of decor on it. And then sitting in the middle of the room is his present. And I've put a whole lot of black tissue paper in here. And you'll have to unravel all of this to be able to get to his presents in there, which will be some wine, wine, um, AirPods, and a card. And yeah. 
this is the final setup. Good job, guys. It is now Sunday morning and let's just say I do feel a little dusty. Mac and I did have one bottle of wine each but we also decided to pop down to the liquor store and get an extra bottle last night so I had a little bit more than I was expecting but I managed to pull myself together and put on a fit and actually do my makeup and after Mac's special night last night um, he is now taking me out for lunch. Well, we haven't had breakfast, so sort of brunch, but it is lunch time. And we're heading to this smoky barbecue sort of place, which I've never been to before. So I'm going to film a little food review for that as well. But yeah, Mick had a good night. I think he loved he loved his surprise, which was good. And yeah, let's go grab some food now because I'm feeling it a bit. Sorry guys, it is the next day and I realized that I did not film an outro for the weekend vlog that you're watching now, but I didn't get up to too much more yesterday. I went into a couple stores in town, but I didn't really see anything, didn't buy anything. I just dropped off some pants for some alteration and then I went to Matt's parents' house for a nice fish and chips dinner and that was the rest of my Sunday. But yeah, I'm going to end off the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.